Allison 1000, 2000, 3000, and 4000 series transmissions come with the ability to program a variety of input and output functions. These use the Transmissions Control Module, or TCM, to help you get the most out of your vehicle. Input and output functions are often referred to as I.O. functions. In this video series, we're going to highlight a few of our most popular I.O. functions. Today we're going to look at Engine Brake Interface. Engine Brake Interface, also known as Engine Brake Enable, optimizes and enhances engine braking and vehicle performance. Here's how it works. You enable the engine brake using a dash switch. When the TCM sees that the throttle is closed and the torque converter lockup clutch is applied, it downshifts to a predetermined or pre-selected range. The TCM also signals the engine or exhaust braking system. The newly activated shift characteristics typically include earlier downshifting and higher engine speed, which aid in overall vehicle braking, increasing brake life. A variety of engine brake interface options for exhaust brakes, single level compression brakes, and multi level compression brakes are available. The engine brake pre select range can be changed to fit various vehicle and operating conditions using Allison's Diagnostic Optimized Connection Service Tool, known as DOC. The default factory setting is fourth range for 3000 and 4000 series, and third range for 1000 and 2000 series transmissions. Additional alternate pre-select ranges can be programmed as well. If the alternate pre-select range is lower than the standard pre-select, after the engine brake pre-select range is attained, the downshifts will occur per the alternate pre-select downshift schedule until the alternate pre-select range is attained. After the alternate pre-select range is attained, the downshifts occur at the normal closed throttle downshift points. The default factory setting for engine brake alternate pre-select is sixth range. This feature can be wired using any of the schematics published in tech data and is also available over the J1939 data link. If you'd like to find which vocational packages include this feature, please refer to Allison's vocational model guide. And finally, as always, please contact your Allison representative or refer to current tech data for the latest revisions before wiring your vehicle. Thank you for your time. And we hope this video has helped you understand a little more about Allison's I.O. capabilities.